Hello everyone, welcome to yet another episode of TV47 Explainers. And with me, I do have a co-host. He's called John Jr., but he's gonna be introducing himself. Uh, but before he introduces himself, today we cannot ignore Kawira Mwangaza's, Meru Governor Kawira Mwangaza's third impeachment proceedings. And they are ongoing, as you can see. So that is what we are going to decipher today. Gashambi, it's a pleasure to be with you here this wonderful Monday afternoon. Thank you very much. Uh, today, as Gashambi has told us, we're going to talk more on Kawira Mwangaza's third impeachment that's still in the Senate. So yeah, John, we can start with third impeachment. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Is this... A message that maybe people don't have, huh? yes. or should it be a message according, to them? Yes, that ac this woman me, is not going anywhere. <laughs> according to me, I support that. This is a message that she's not needed for the third time. Like, who does that? Third time, third time. Uh, no, <laughs> that is a very annoying message. The people don't want her because even if you but go the to them, voted for her. But if you it go to the ground, <laughs> but if you go to the ground, what the ground is saying is very different mm -hmm. from what she's thinking. She thinks that the ground wants her, but ground him taki. Uh -huh. Yeah. I don't know. I, I, I think someone would ask you, can you support your sentiments? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you've been to the ground yourself <laughs> <laughs> to, to support that. But uh, let's quickly talk about what is happening right now. So today, today is Monday the um, 15th, 19th, sorry. And today is the first hearing. It was supposed to be a pre-conference hearing. Yes. And um, currently I'm seeing the, the county assembly, the people who brought the case, who are the plaintiffs, Yes. Um, are the ones who are presenting their case. They've been mm -hmm. given four hours by the speaker, Amazon Kingi. And I'm seeing one of the councils um, of the county assembly is one of my good friends. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to give him a call. <laughs> um, that's on a light that's note. But so, yeah, so um, I think we can quickly go over maybe her, the charges that she's faced or the reasons why she you, you can be impeached as a governor in the first place. Mm -hmm. And that is basically a gross violation of the constitution. I, if you believed to have committed a crime under national or international law, or if you're mentally incapacitated. What about abuse of office? Uh, uh, abuse of office is, you see, it's either a, a crime, it's either you're stealing mm. from the people, so it's a crime, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's in the second option, or it's on gross misconduct. misconduct. Yeah, yeah. So maybe you can quickly go over her charges. Some of the charges the that charges are against, yeah. Number one charge is gross violation of the constitution and other laws. Mm. Our constitution, our constitution, should not be played with. Mm. According to me, there are some gross violations of the constitution, and they're just going to highlight some of them. Okay. One of them being uh, illegal, illegally revoking the appointment of CPA Virginia Kawera Mireti as the CEO of the Meru County Public Service Board. That is one of the gross violations of the Constitution, uh, refusing to implement the recommendations or resolutions of the County Assembly that require the Governor to dismiss the County Secretary and Chief of Staff mm -hmm. due to gross violation of the Constitution. So this brings me to the Governor is the head of the County. And there are some, he lead, she, she, she leads a team behind her. So if the chief of staff does a mistake, the governor is the one who's going to be blamed. Mm -hmm. And that is what is happening to Kawera, according to It's this. called vicarious liability. <laughs> <laughs> that is what is happening to Kawera, according to some of the charges that I can see here. Yeah. The other charge is... Uh, gross misconduct, mm -hmm. and the other one is abuse of office. Yeah. And under abuse of office, I've seen something very funny, that she she's still paying someone, <laughs> but I don't, <laughs> we don't attract um, a lawsuit. Mm -hmm. Let me make sure I know the name. She's allegedly, 
still paying someone called Kiambi Christus Manyara, who is a public communication officer, but who's in remand currently facing murder charges. So this is one of the charges being uh, um, instituted against her. And before we started, we wanted to, we, we, we called a lawyer. We wanted to know, is, is this illegal? Until innocent, until proven, until proven guilty. guilty. And um, he said, he actually asserted what, you know, you're actually innocent until proven, until guilty. proven guilty. Yeah, but when you're working for the government, you're supposed to be given half, half of the salary. Of the salary. So the issue but, here is that she's paying <laughs> the full salary, salary. plus benefits. Allegedly. The person who has been paid the full salary. Ah. And they're well still in remand. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well in remand. <laughs> full I, salary. Ah. Yeah. I, so I, I don't know what's going to happen this time. If, I mean, I don't know. Kawira, the god of Kawira, <laughs> <laughs> if she's she let go us. again, will, are we going to see this next year and then but one, you know, in 20, okay, in 2027. Uh, difficult, but are we are we going to see this for the fourth time next year? This can go up to the fifth time because I don't think the people of uh, the 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 MCAs are, are going to tire because the the moment they started, uh, they could have uh, given up. They were just the moment they started, yeah. but it seems how Abanduki had I talk. Yeah. But you know, if these MCAs were serious. I feel like <laughs> I feel like they dissolve the whole county assembly. Like they'd sign a petition and just dissolve the county assembly. Kill them to a rudy ground so that people can decide. That means even <laughs> them. Why are they not doing that? That's that 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 ah. uh, you know, I mean, you know, you know, you know. It's starting to look like they're just wasting the nation's time. I don't know. Getting getting back an office because it's not only the governor who's not, who's not going to come back. There are also some MCAs who... For they sure, might... and they don't take that risk. <laughs> so they keep frustrating one person. Yes. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. Um, let's quickly go over the fact that this is a plenary hearing. Mm -hmm. It's not a committee because normally there, there are two options. You can either form an 11-member committee um, of certain senators or the whole house can be sent to the impeachment, the impeachment proceedings, proceedings and vote and decide. So this is a plenary hearing. That's what the Senate voted for. Mm. And yeah, that is And the one thing that I remember you told me while we were back there, yeah. uh, the nominated senators mm. are not allowed to vote. Yeah. They, are, they are only allowed to join in the discussion, yeah. but when voting, mm they are left out a little bit. Yeah, they just make their contributions, but they can't vote. They can't vote. Yeah, uh -huh. so that's the question again. Why, I mean, why nominate people live? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. How do you feel about that? Uh, I feel it's like we're wasting our resources because why nominate somebody in a position yet? And there's no job, sh there's no job he or she is going to do there. Yeah. They should vote. Yeah. Uh, like our beloved queen, Karen Nyamu, mm -hmm. she should vote. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Women power. I remember <laughs> last time when Kamira was being impeached. Mm -hmm. Last time, it was a committee, I think it was a committee hearing, the very last time, last year. And I remember when now the committee uh, brought back the um, findings in, in Senate, I remember Karen Nyamu was re really defended um, Kamira, Kamira Mangaza. Mangaza. And she even said that some of us are coming. Some of us are gonna be <laughs> governors, you know. So if you start frustrating women now, now Kawira is. I I look at Kawira and I see myself. Uh, remember, she, was, she she really she, felt strongly about about Kawira. She's one of the six. Are they six or how many are they? There are six women, women governors. governors in Kenya. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's a little number. Wow. I, I don't know. Sometimes I, I I keep asking myself if she was a man. Will this still be, happen <laughs> be happening, you know, that whole time is a bit crazy. But yeah, let's wait and see how that goes. So tomorrow, tomorrow being Tuesday, that's the 20th, um, the defense now, Kawira's team will be Maybe. presenting its case and defending themselves, that kind of thing. I'm really eagerly waiting to mm. see what they're going to bring in defense of Kawira. Because ah, for the third time, but Kawira is... I can, she, I can say she's really powerful. 
because for the third time it's not a joke. And she's a fighter. And the fact that she does not resign. Actually, you just from telling me that the deputy governor of Wasingishu, of Wasingishu has, has just, just resigned. resigned. Yeah. Oh. And we're having that debate. And he's a man. A <laughs> Kaira is a fighter. I love that for her. She's so powerful. Mm -hmm. I'm eagerly waiting to see, you know, maybe I can get some tactics on defending myself because mm. <laughs> for the third time. I mean, use anything, cry. <laughs> <laughs> We've seen her use everything, really. Apologize to the Senate. Remember her last time saying, if I have wronged anyone in the Senate, mm. I am sorry. If I have wronged anyone in the county assembly, I Amazing. apologize. And that's actually one of the people who are supporting the my impeachment were saying, hey, we know that you are crocodile tears. <laughs> She's a good actor, but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> <laughs> but I position the back. Uh, There's no other way. If that's the only way remaining, then go with it. <laughs> oh, yeah. huh? Tell us what you think in the comment section. We will keep updating you on Governor Kawira Mwangaza's impeachment. impeachment. Until next time, keep it here for more of these videos. My name is Gashambi Nderutu. And I'm John Jr. Stay blessed.